fire them cannons. By golly, put more powder in those things. And that'll it's, be the last time you hear him do that until Baker Mayfield no longer wears his jersey. Oh, it is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers three-round mock draft here in the sportsocracy. Bye. At ESPN Draft Nerd, Jeremy Green, Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Okay, so, I mean, we're, we're, we're doing stuff, okay? No Tom Brady anymore. I mean, there's still some talent on this team. And we're, let's face it, Bucks fans, we're not doing anything. We've got, I'm gonna give you we've an ex- got Todd Bowles as a head coach. I'm going to give you an example, and you're never going to unhear it. At this point, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are that 47-year-old supermodel whose face looks like this. <laughs> we're we're keeping our youth. Ain't it? That, that, that skin's not taut. And it, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, Baker Mayfield is bad, 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 bad. Yeah, he is. And, and I'm glad I do that not we understand. signed him to start for three games it's, and then uh, it's contract fans, season. Please, Stop Jesus, it. Bucks fans, tell this delusional fucker that Baker Mayfield is playing more than three games. You didn't sign him to be a backup. He's It'd be terrible. like signing Cam. To, oh, He's terrible. I got that. I know that. You know that. Todd Bowles and Jason Light apparently don't know that. And they need to see it with their own two eyes. Maybe so. Maybe so. All right. So what can the Tampa Bay Buccaneers do in this 2023 NFL draft? You got number 19 overall. Let's see. Nolan Smith, edge rusher out of Georgia. Oh, yeah. Now, see, that is that is a good pick. I, I have like long that. said I don't think Tampa Bay is as good at getting after quarterbacks as, as – their shit division makes it look. Mm-hmm. And now that you don't have Tom Brady and, and look, I know it wasn't good last year. I'm well aware of that. You gotta understand. I know Todd Bowles like the back of my hand. And if to me, this is probably the best pick you can make because you kept Carlton Davis uh, last year. You kept Jamel Dean this year. So the secondary is not really your problem. Mm-hmm. The problem is when you leave them out there forever, because Joe try on Inca is exactly what I tried to tell you. He was. The situational pass rusher. Hell, I thought he was a linebacker, and I'm still not sure he's not. But Nolan Smith is one of those players that you watch him on film. I don't really know what position he plays. That's the only reason he's here. In terms of athletic freak, he's number one in this draft by a lot. And he comes in, will be able to do – he can do everything. He's not a liability anywhere. Mm Mm-hmm. There was a little bit of a fear with the N'Kobe Dean thing that there was so much tread on the tires – but he didn't actually play that much. And Nicobe Dean had played 2,000 some odd snaps at Georgia. We don't have that problem with, with, with Nolan Smith. He's just been a good, yeah, solid contributor for a long time. I don't know that I ever thought he was the best player on the field, but he is, a, he is an athletic freak of nature that would come in, and I think he slots in nicely with Tampa Bay. You can move him all over the place. And, and I, to be honest with you, I think he helps Devin, uh, Devin White too. Oh, as absolutely. long as you don't trade him. Yeah, which we, that is a rumor that's percolating yeah, I've right now. I've heard that rumor and I don't like it. But For a four and a five, that's so stupid. He's worth more than that. I I don't He's worth way more than that. Anyway, I, I hope it doesn't way. happen. I hope it doesn't happen. Devin White, I think I think you're right. Nolan is the do everything guy, and that that's a hell of a linebacking core. Uh, I've always said that drafting for um. Drafting for Todd Bowles would be a lot like casting The Bachelor. Mm-hmm. I bring in all these people. all the, I, I work all of this time to bring in all of this talent, and then you're doing hand stuff in a hot tub. Like <laughs> I, I feel like I'm wasting my talents here, but okay, it, 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 checks keep clearing, so right. screw it. Right. I'm just I'm just looking across the line going, that's, that's Shaq Barrett, Devin mm-hmm. White, Levante David, Nolan mm-hmm. Smith. Fuck yeah, sign me up right mm-hmm. now. All right, let's get into the uh, second pick of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Comes in the second round, number 51 overall. Uh, now, Nolan Smith was really flashy. Jazz hands. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Matthew Bergeron, offensive tackle out of Syracuse. He's not flashy at all. Okay. But he is a really good pass blocker. And I think he feels a th- – the biggest problem with him is I don't know what position he plays. Uh, I do know what position Luke Gadecki plays, and it sure as hell ain't tackle. Uh, he is a guard. He's a guard. He's a guard. So I know somebody's going to say, but what about a guard? I mean, you can play Matthew Berger on there. He's kind of like Zach Tom was last year. If he can play anywhere, mm-hmm. I mean, he's not a center, but he can do anything else on the offensive line. I have a question. If if he plays on the left side, does he know how to block without fucking holding like Donovan Smith? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. He's, look, 
this is not a player that's going to win the press conference by any stretch of the imagination, but I think he wins you games. This is the kind of player I want on my team just because he is, he brings his lunch pail. He's not the, I mean, he ran a five, three forty, so he's not the athletic freak. He's six, five, three twenty. He's just a damn good player. And he is explosive off the snap. If you play him, at, I think he can be a really high level guard, but I think he'd be a really good right tackle, which is where I would play him slide Gadecki into guard. And, and now I'm not going to say I've fixed my line, but I feel like it's good enough that I can see what I have with the weapons that I still have. Third round, number 83 overall. Garrett Williams, cornerback out of Syracuse. This is a Tampa Bay kind of guy. Okay. Because in terms of physical ability, he's small. He's not as fast as you would like him to be. But he can play off really well. And he reacts to the ball well, except when he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Because there are times that you would watch him, and it was almost exclusively in man, where you would go, where, the, where did you think the ball was right there? And so now I'm going to put him in this system that takes that away. I'm not going to ask you to do that. I'm going to play you off the ball. Mm -hmm. And then you just react to the ball, which I saw him do really well at Syracuse. It, it removes the the physical limitations. But he's explosive as hell for a guy that's not any faster than he is. He kind of reminds me of Jamel Dean, if I was being 100% honest with you. Okay, so what's his what's his ceiling? I mean, is he a potential starter two, is, three years from now? He would have been a second-round pick if he hadn't blown his knee out. Well, then that makes but me – But he tore his ACL, and the, the, the thing that would scare me is, okay, so you were this fast before. Are you going to be that again? Because if you get any slower, it's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. And that's why you can get him in the third round. But now, just instinctive corner – he can do that, and and look, uh, Todd Bowles was the coach of my Jets for long enough. I got pretty good at figuring out what it was he was looking for a corner. It's Garrett Williams and Drums. I, I, I like all of these pieces. I don't like the coaching staff of the Tampa Bay you Buccaneers shouldn't. at this point, but let's face it, guys. we got to get through one year, yeah, and, and then, and then Todd you can Bowles have will be your, gone. Uh, Todd Bowles will be gone, and you won't have to see that who farted look anymore. Just, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Right, and uh, and you've given us a, a new cornerback cornerback class here to take over when Jamel and uh, Carlton leave. We got Correct. Zion McCollum last year. Now you get uh, this, you you get Garrett Williams from Syracuse. I like it. Tampa. If you like these picks, if you hate these picks, if you just want to call me a big mullet dipshit with a weird face, feel free to do that in the comments. I answer all of those. If there's a player you'd like to know how they fit with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you can chuck that in there too. Uh, we got more comments on the last set than I was anticipating, so I will get to those as quickly as I can. I could only answer so many in one night. Like the video, share it out with your friends as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can have you can follow all of our team by team content right here throughout the draft in the season, and of course, every pick of the 2023 NFL Draft live will be covered by us right here on the Sportsocracy.